let's take a look at a couple of examples of balancing chemical equations. In this case, the observation was made that solid sodium plus liquid water react to yield hydrogen gas plus a solution of sodium hydroxide and heat. Write this chemical equation with the state symbols. Now the state symbols are the uh, symbols that let us know what phase the different elements and compounds are in across the chemical change. We have gas, uh, if it's a liquid, solid, and if something's in solution we use AQ for aqueous. So those are our state symbols. So here it says solid sodium, so I'll use the elemental symbol for sodium and the state symbol for solid plus liquid water, so that means water is in the liquid phase, react to yield, that's where I'll put my arrow, hydrogen gas, and I remember here that hydrogen, elemental hydrogen, always exists as a diatomic molecule, so I write the molecule formula correctly, H2, plus a solution of sodium hydroxide, sodium Hydroxide. Hydroxide is a common polyatomic anion that I have memorized, OH. Sodium has a plus one charge, OH has a minus one charge, so it forms a compound in a one-to-one -one ratio, NaOH, with the state symbol aqueous, which means it's dissolved, plus heat. In this particular equation, heat is given off, and sometimes we include that in the equation. Now, after I've written everything correctly, the next thing you do is check to see if the number and type of atoms are balanced on both sides of the equation. So in this case I have one sodium on the left hand side and one sodium on the right hand side. I have um, two atoms of hydrogen on the left hand side but I have three on the right hand side and I have one oxygen on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. So everything is balanced except for the hydrogen. So the easiest thing to do is to I'm gonna have to put, I'll put a two in front of this sodium hydroxide because that will give me at least an even number of hydrogens. So I have one, two, three, four on the right hand side <clears throat> and then, but, but when I did that I made myself have more sodium but that's okay I can put a two back over here. So now I have two sodium, two sodium, I have a two oxygen, one oxygen, I'll have to put a two in front of the water and now I have two oxygen, two oxygen and now I have two waters which gives me a total of four hydrogen and then one, two, three, four hydrogen so I'm balanced. And sometimes that's hard to see but until you get used to it you can draw a picture. I'm going to let this be my model of sodium. So I have two sodium atoms um, <clears throat> and then I have two water and so I'll let the water be this and that for hydrogen. Okay. So now I've got the oxygen represented and then the hydrogens represented and everything on the left hand side represented. Now on this side I've got one molecule of hydrogen and then I've got the sodium hydroxide. It's dissolved in solution so really I'm going to... Let's see what's... Uh, so I've got the sodium, the sodium and then the hydroxide which is the oxygen and one a hydrogen. I didn't draw my sodium very good. Let's see, sodium, sodium, hydroxide, hydroxide, and you can see I've got one, two, three, four hydrogen, one, two, three, four hydrogen, one, two, oxygen, and one, two, sodium. So <clears throat> in this case, this is how we would write that, and that's our expectation at this point. So the number coefficient used to balance the elements on each side of the equation can be interpreted as the number of moles of each of the substances. These are called the stoichiometric coefficients, that number, stoichiometric coefficient, and represent the number ratio of element and or compound across a balanced chemical equation. This idea of the number ratio and the stoichiometric co coefficients will be the subject of another video. Let's do one more example. Model the combustion of ethane gas. First of all, ethane is a basic alkane that has two carbons and six hydrogens. Combustion is a type of reaction where the fuel burns in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Okay, um, So after you completely write down the fuel, 
and the oxygen and the products, carbon dioxide and water, since it's combustion of a fuel, carbon-based fuel, then you balance it. And in this case, uh, start with the carbon and uh, add a two in front of the CO2 to get two carbons. This is called balancing by inspection. You just go back and forth and back and forth. Hydrogen, we'll add a three here. So now we've got six hydrogen, six hydrogen. Now left with oxygen, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have two on this side. And one trick for balancing equations, if you end up with a, an odd number on one side and even on the other, is to use a fraction as an intermediate to help you balance. So 7 halves times 2 is 7, which would equal the same as the 7 oxygens, but we typically clear our fractions. Um, <clears throat> so we'd multiply the whole reaction through by 2. So the fraction was just a problem solving trick. Multiply everything through by 2 to clear that fraction, and you end up with 7 hydrogen, 4 carbon dioxide, plus 6 water. That's the balanced combustion reaction.